everyone, it's Cass. Welcome back to my channel, What Cass Read. Today I am filming a video for you that is one of my favorite videos to film all year long. And I feel like a lot of you also enjoy this video because it tends to be some of my more popularly viewed videos on this channel. And that is the fantasy books that I want to read for the year 2020. I have a list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but like technically 12 books in front of me. Last year I went way overboard and I listed 17 total books that I wanted to read off of my TBR. I did very well for the most part. There's some books that still didn't get up end up getting read. So one of them has found its way into this video. There's a trilogy of books that I decided to put off till 2020, which you can probably assume which one that is if you follow my channel. But the, mo the majority of these are going to either be continuations of series that I want to read or some brand new books that I haven't even touched yet. So without further ado, let's get into the books, the fantasy books that I want to read the most in the year 2020. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this book slash this trilogy out of the way first because this is my bread and butter. This is Robin Hobb, Fool's Assassin, book number one of the Fits in the Fool trilogy, also known as book number one of the final Realm of the Elderlings installment. My heart isn't ready, my mind isn't totally ready, but I'm, I'm ready, like I'm ready for it. I'm really excited for it, but I'm just not quite ready to let it go, which is why I postponed it to 2020. But believe you me, 2020 is the time that I will be finishing up the Realm of the Elderlings. This has a, been a reading journey of mine since 2017. I've been working on this whole 16 book series for quite some time and just really enjoying it, savoring it. I have a whole Robin Hobb playlist, you know the drill. So anyways, um, Fool's Assassin. <laughs> We pick back up with Fit Chivalry Farce here, and this is the like the main reason why I've just been putting this one off because I'm just not ready to let Fitz go. Here we have caught up with Fit Chivalry Farce here, and he's leading this quiet, retired life. He finally feels like he got the ending that he has always wanted, but his life never totally goes the way that he wants it to. And he is called out of retirement once again to serve the Farseer family, to serve the Farseer line. Um, and then he has an entire trilogy events take off from there. It's gonna happen and you're gonna see it. You're gonna see all of the emotions on this channel. So if you've also been following along with me in the realm of the elderlings, it's time. Okay, this is a book that I have been hoping to get to for quite some time. I had some friends read this, um, I think last year, and then they were like, how come you haven't started it yet? It's like, have you seen my TBR? But this is The Red Knight written by Miles Cameron. This is book number one of the Trader's Son cycle. So it's a five book series, I believe. And I was inspired to pick this up from Kitty G and Sam's Nonsense from way back in the day. They both read this entire series and absolutely loved it. So this follows like a group of mercenaries, like a mercenary band led by the Red Knight. They live in a world where dragons exist, worms exist, um, just all these foul creatures exist. So why not get hired for your services and make a profit off of killing these monsters? So the Red Knight and his group have been hired by a nunnery that lives on the edge of the wild and he takes the job and the job ends up being something completely different than what he's expecting. I'm very excited. This is like a really dense fantasy series that I can see from <laughs> just looking at this book. Um, but this is just something that I've been holding on to for a while and I really think that I'm ready to get to this one in 2020. So this is a book that I haven't totally talked about a lot on my channel either. This is The Warded Man written by Peter V. Brett. This is book number one of the Demon Cycle series. And if you're following along in the UK edition of this book, this is also called The Painted Man. So this is a world where um, humans are incredibly fragile. Uh, at night, demons come out to terrorize humanity. They just have a burning hatred of humanity. And um, like, there's these wards and symbols that people put on either their houses, I believe, um, to protect themselves from the demons. Um, this man obviously has some symbols etched into his skin. So I've had a couple of people mention on my channel, like in the comment section below, like, have I gotten to this yet? And really like sung its praises. So this is something that I've just been like, really looking forward to. It's just, just like the Red Knight, it's kind of been tucked away on my shelves and I just haven't gotten to it yet because I have so many fantasy books that I want to get to. So this one is one that I definitely want to make a priority for 2020. This is The Warded Man written by Peter V. Brett. Okay, so this is a book that I hauled just a little bit ago. This is the Icewind Dale trilogy written by R.A. Salvatore. This is like the second trilogy in the whole Legend of Drist series and 
I have wanted to read Ari Salvatore for a while and I originally thought I was going to read the Dark Elf trilogy first and then I read up that this one was published first so I do tend to like to read things in publication order um, so I want to read the Icewind Dale trilogy before I pick up the Dark Elf trilogy. I couldn't tell you that much about it but I just figured it might be easier for me to get to when it's all bound up like this in the omnibus version. So I have this one. I do also have the Dark Elf trilogy but I'm trying to set manageable fantasy goals for myself in 2020. It's just trying to see if I can like check all of them off my list. Yeah, let me know what you think about this one or if you think I'm reading them out of order. I just saw that this one was in publication order, so that's why I picked this one up first. Okay, now we're going to get into some of the books that are continuations of series that I would like to read in 2020. So the first book that I want to mention is Scarlet Tides, written by David Hare. This is book number two of the Moontide Quartet. I actually just finished up um, Mage's Blood. I do have a whole review of that on my channel already um, for my book club. So that was the first book in the Moontide Quartet. We are now on to book number two and the Moontide has begun. I don't know much more about this book and this installment. I just know that we spent the entire first book the entire year leading up to the moon tide. So there's just some really, really big cliffhangers that happened. There's some crazy journeys that our characters have gone on and lots of crazy consequences for them that I'm excited to pick back up on their story and see what happens um, in this next installment and see how far along into the moon tide that we get. So in this world, there's um, like an Eastern and Western continental divide of Antiopia and Euros. And in between the two continents, there's this bridge called the Leviathan bridge. Every 12 years the tides around the bridge recede and the bridge is able to stay above water and then the two sides go to war with one another. So we spent the entire book one leading up to this big event. So right at the end of book one the moon tide had begun, war has been declared, and now we're going to get started on it in Scarlet Tides. All right, this next book is The Blinding Knife, written by Brent Weeks. This is book number two of the Lightbringer series. So I have also just finished up reviewing the, um, the Black Prism. That's book number one of this series, and I have that review on my channel. So this is book number two, and again, the plot twists, the cliffhangers, that led to the point that we're going to begin this story um, had me on the edge of my seat. So we follow the two prisms, Gavin Guile and Dazen Guile, plus Gavin's bastard son named Kip, plus there's a little bit of romance that had gone awry in the first book. Um, so there's all these sorts of different plot lines and storylines that I honestly just don't even know where this story is going to go because of how many twists and turns and the different kinds of cliffhangers and the different kinds of revelations that we came out with in the Black Prism and I'm ready for my mind to be blown again in The Blinding Knife. The last book of the series, The Burning White, just came out this year and a lot of people have said that The Black Prism was the first, like you can tell it's the first book in the series and that he just has gotten better and better and better with each installment. So I'm very much looking forward to continuing on with the Lightbringer series in 2020. I'm super excited to finally be able to get to this one as well. Um, I hope to be able to finish this one like early on in the year and then I'll be all caught up on the Gentleman Bastard series. So this is The Re Republic of Thieves written by Scott Lynch. This is book number three of the Gentleman Bastard sequence. Finally, finally, we're gonna get some answers to some characters that have been hinted at from book number one that have been a part of Locke Lamora's past that we've only been hinted at her existence and now we finally get to see who this woman is. Super excited for that storyline. The Bonds Magi who are just this like really elite magical group that nobody wants to mess with because their magic is really really dark, really sinister. They are expensive magicians to be hired out and we also get to follow along with that storyline too. So yes, we are going to continue on with the Gentleman Bastard sequence in the year 2020 with Re the Republic of Thieves. And then we'll see what happens with the Thorn of Emberland. We'll see what happens. Apparently Scott Lynch has been working on it again. So who knows? Maybe by the time 2021 rolls around, maybe we'll actually get a release date. I don't know. But very excited to continue on with this. The Republic of Thieves written by Scott Lynch. All right, and then if you saw my November wrap up, you saw me finally finish Ruin written by John Gwynn. This is Wrath. This is book number four of the Faithful and the Fallen series. This is the fourth and final book in this whole series. And I have been working on this series a lot longer than I actually anticipated doing it. Um, I started this series in 2018, so I'll be able to wrap it up in 2020. This takes place in the Banished Lands where there's a God War happening. So there's multiple different 
character perspectives that we follow, lots of different political alliances. There's the Ben Elim, which are the angelic hosts, and the Kadashim, which are the demonic hosts, and they're kind of puppet masters over this whole arena inside this whole series. Yeah, I really don't want to put this one off. I know I always say that for all these books, but I really don't want to put this one off because I tend to struggle finishing these series or finishing these books because there's just so many different characters to keep up with and I don't do a great job of keeping up with all of them so it'd be nice to have like all of those characters really fresh in my mind so that way I can wrap up this series. I'm very excited for it. Um, this whole book series has been like maybe four star rating for me which is pretty good so I just want to see how it wraps up and see if we do end up prevailing over evil. It's, it's very much a classic good versus evil tale. There's a lot of classic fantasy tropes that are used in here, but just done really well. Um, so if you are a fan of like epic fantasy, lots of different characters, classic fantasy tropes, this is a really great series to get a part of. All right, so I actually put this book as a fantasy book that I wanted to read for 2019, and it's December and I haven't gotten to it yet. So I would really like to get to this in 2020. This is Jade City written by Fonda Lee. This is an Asian inspired fantasy world written by an Asian author. And that's just something that I really want to see more of. Um, so this is like a metropolis fantasy city that the city itself is like powered by Jade, but humans themselves can also use Jade to enhance their magical abilities. Fonda Lee is a kung fu and a karate black belt so she used all of her influence um all of her background knowledge in the two martial arts to in like to impart on the characters in here and that makes me really really excited um as a martial artist myself and so there's like clan wars and because this is like a metropolis city i'm getting like yakuza clan vibes even though i, I don't know if it's like modeled after the yakuza so i don't want to say that you know, definitively. But those are the kinds of vibes that I'm getting. So I'm very excited for this one. I just can't believe I didn't get to it this year, which is why I would really like to get to it in 2020. And the final book that I want to mention in this video, this is The Way of Kings written by Brandon Sanderson. This is book number one of the Stormlight Archive. I am currently reading Elantris. I have been working my way toward this long-term Way of Kings goal. And my goal was to read this book in 2020. I want to focus on lots of big books like The Way of Kings. And I'm so happy to be able to put this book up in a video saying I'm actually gonna get to it soon. Um, so of course, this is book number one of the Stormlight Archive. In terms of the story, I feel like magic was lost. They're trying to find a way to make magic come back to them. I just don't wanna go into this knowing that much about it. I really wanna be surprised because I have been putting high hopes on this whole series for like five years now. Um, this is, like I said, been a very long-term goal of mine and I just know no matter what the story is about, I am very excited to be able to plop down into a chair, flip this book open and start reading. I'm very excited to have this book on my TBR for 2020. All right, so there you have it. The fantasy books that I wanna get to for the year 2020. I know that you enjoy watching these videos. I enjoy making these videos. This is like my definitive, these are the priority fantasy books that I want to place on my TBRs for the upcoming year. So if you've been really excited about these series, let me know. If you've been anxious to hear some of my thoughts on these series, let me know. Just let me know what you think about this list down in the comment section below. And also put down some of your fantasy um, TBR goals for 2020R. I'm very excited for this new year to begin. I'm very excited for a new year of reading. And hopefully I will be able to get to all of these books. In the upcoming year. If you want to follow along with me on my social media, I'm on Instagram and Twitter. It's at whatcastread, the same as this channel, so it should not be that hard for you to find. And then, of course, my Goodreads link and my book club link will always be listed down below for you. Other than that, you know how these videos end. I'll talk to you later. Bye.